And I think the number one food that I just couldn't do without out of all these foods... Coach Greg, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you the foods that I eat every single day. was watching Jeff Cavalier, who listed the 17 foods he eats every day, and I thought, well, why don't I do it? And so I wrote out the foods, what am I eating every day, came up with a list of the top 20, and so I'm going to explain the foods that I'm eating every day and why, and hopefully you'll be able to add some of these in your own diet. Number one, fat-free Greek yogurt. This is so high in protein, only 100 calories and 18 grams of protein. I eat it every single day as well as often in the evenings and that leads me to food number two and I grouped it as grapes, blueberries and strawberries and every single morning I have a plate of this and I'm dipping these into the Greek yogurt. I love fruit, tastes very sweet, loaded in antioxidants and carbohydrates that I need to fuel my workouts throughout the day. And number three is decaf coffee. I no longer consume regular coffee as I save my caffeine for around my workout times. By avoiding caffeine, I avoid that crash later in the day and I don't need as much pre-workout. A little goes a long way. If you're not drinking caffeine throughout the day, when you consume caffeine pre-workout, you will have a ton of energy and it will not affect your sleep. Just don't consume caffeine within eight hours of bedtime. And I don't drink my coffee black. I'm not Will Tennyson. I add in a ton of skim milk and in particular, Joya skim milk. This has 110 calories with 16 grams of protein. And if you like fattier milk, like 2% or homogenized, switch over to Joya milk. You get less calories, less fat and more protein. And of course, I like it sweeter than last time. And so although it's not a food, I add twin sugar in my coffee, put it on my popcorn and even on my fruit occasionally. It's only got one or two calories per packet. And listen, it's not going to destroy your gut microbiome. I literally had mine tested and it was through the roof. I had no recommendations. And so despite the fact I eat a lot of artificial sweeteners, my gut bacteria, it's perfectly healthy and clearly it's working. I'm maintaining around 9% body fat year round. And some Something I also eat every single day, Greek yogurt ice cream bars. I absolutely love ice cream. It's my favorite. It's my favorite dessert, but it's very high in calories. And because I'm not trying to eat a lot of calories, this is a great substitute. I can take a bar, go with me, eat it on the way to the gym, and it prevents me from overeating. If I open up a tub of ice cream, I might sit there and eat the entire thing. This allows for portion control. It's higher in protein, lower in calories. Strongly recommend Greek yogurt ice cream bars as an alternative to ice cream. Another convenient snack on the go, I usually will have the Greek yogurt ice cream bar as well as my Seco bar. I eat them together in the car driving to the gym. It's an amazing snack, only has 220 calories, 15 grams of fiber and 20 grams of protein. And so if you're looking for a delicious snack, something really tasty to keep you full, energized throughout your workout, Seco bar combined with a Greek yogurt ice cream bar, that is a staple in my diet. Another thing in my diet every single day, and arguably it's not a food, it's a drink, but diet pop, caffeine free that is. And because it's diet, it only consumes approximately five calories and this allows me to stay lean. And remember, it's calories in, calories out. And so by consuming lower calorie beverages, it's a lot easier to stay within your caloric needs. Another staple every day in my diet, two Joseph Lavash wraps. And although they lie on the label, it states there's 120 calories. I've weighed them and the average is about 140, 145 calories. But labels are allowed to lie by 20%. And so although it says 120 calories, if you weigh them, you'll see that there's more calories in that. And so just simply be cautious. Just because a food item says it has a certain amount of calories doesn't mean it's necessarily true. Each wrap has 12 grams of protein, four grams of fiber. And so it actually is high in protein. And what I add on to that, a ton of low calorie vegetables, which is another food I eat every day. Cucumbers, tomatoes, mushrooms, peppers. I eat these every single day. And these vegetables are all low in calories and it allows you to be full. If you're on a diet and you're hungry, how long will you be able to stick to that diet? And so the reason I can stay to my diet is my hunger cravings are gone. The foods taste amazing and I make things taste better by always adding in a light dressing. Not a day goes by that I don't eat light dressing. It's got half the fat and calories and so it allows me to stay within my calorie needs but giving me the taste that I need. After all, it's very important that you love the diet that you're eating. Not just like it, but love it. If you love what you're eating, you'll be able to stick to that diet for the rest of your life. Up next on the list, potatoes. 
and not sweet potatoes, but regular potatoes. I love the white ones. I spice them up, put it on the plate, and for me, that is my carb source in one of my meals. Add to that a chicken breast cooked in a variety of ways. It gives me that extra protein that I need. And my favorite vegetable, the one I eat the most often every single day, peas. Peas are relatively high in protein and low in calories. And so if you're trying to diet down, lose weight, try eating fewer of the more complex carbs, things like pasta and rice, in favor of more vegetables. You can add something like peas, corn, or a variety of vegetables, as vegetables are low-calorie dense foods. It allows you to feel full, have lots of fiber, and stays with you for a long time. Remember, the diet that you can follow, it's going to have to taste good, but also to keep you full. And so if you're eating things like pastas, peas, pizzas and so on that are very high in calories, you're going to be a lot more likely to overeat these calories, be hungry, and not stick to your diet. And although these are not technically foods, they are to me, they do contain calories, low calorie ketchup and Dijon gravy in a can. These things are crucial to my diet. You might be thinking, why do you need that? It's just chemicals. Why do you need it? Because it makes the stuff taste amazing. And so if the foods taste good, you're going to keep eating. And so when I'm eating my potatoes and there's no gravy on it, I really miss it. And so I'm always in the hunt. These are my two favorites. No sugar added ketchup and the Dijon gravy. They're both very low in calories. You can add it to anything. Make it taste better than last time. Don't forget to spice up your foods. Make it taste amazing. And also something I consume every single day that does have calories, although not a lot, and technically it might not be a food, is my pre-workout, both a stim and a pump version. Before the gym, I'm taking the stim version. I get amped up. I don't need a lot. One and a quarter scoops. It's all I need. Gives me the energy, the motivation to get to the gym. And then when I'm there, I take the pre-pump. The reason for that, it gives me a great pump while I'm working out. My workouts, they're very long. I do full body. That's head to toe, training every muscle. And I do that three times a week. And on top of that, I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio riding a bike. And so I'm often at the gym approaching two hours. And so the pre-pump, it gives me the energy, the pump that I need to continue to have a great workout. And if I'm not lifting weights at the gym, which I only do three days a week, I'm racing bikes. And so I want to train harder than last time. Consume this before I ride the bike and this during. And I think the number one food that I just couldn't do without out of all these foods... Smart Pop Popcorn, this has saved me. This is the best stuff. I eat three bags on average every single day. Two days ago, I had six bags. So some days eat more, some days eat less, but this is my savior. This is my go-to carb source. I would eat it morning, afternoon, and at night. I don't care. It tastes amazing. It's very filling. It tastes a long time to eat. And it states 160 calories per serving of eight cups, but in all, if you actually pop it out and weigh it out, you're getting in about 200 calories per bag. Add to that about five grams of protein and 12 grams of fiber well this is a very filling and i highly recommend this snack especially if you're a person that likes to eat chips and pretzels and crackers and so on you have the smart pop popcorn tastes amazing and on top of that you add on popcorn slice either white cheddar salt and vinegar dill pickle you spice it up i spray the popcorn for one second with pem i add on the sugar twins and put on some white cheddar seasoning or some salt and vinegar and it's a very salty crunchy type of snack it's Simply something I would never want to do without. And up next, egg whites. Very high in protein, low in calories. And no, I don't often eat the yolks. I eat maybe one yolk a day maximum. Not because I can't, but because I'm trying to get less calories. Remember, I'm trying to stay at 9% body fat. If I was trying to bulk up or if I needed more calories, I certainly would eat the whole egg. And so I'm often eating French toast with egg whites and occasionally an egg white. And if I don't eat French toast, as it's not every single day, I'll have have an open-faced bagel or rice cake sandwich, something with either salmon or chicken on top. I have rice cakes rather than the bread. And so to me, these are delicious recipes. And it's not as if I eat every single food item every single day. And so last on the list is one of the recipes from my cookbook. There's always, as in every single day, there is not a day that goes by that I don't eat something from the cookbook. Whether it's blueberry muffins or pastries of some sort or any random recipe, lasagna, open face, hot hamburg, and so on, I simply get my chef to pick out a recipe from the book and make it for me. Surprise me. I'll eat anything. And so I'm not someone that wants to eat the exact same food every single day. And so with this cookbook, I can mix it up. I never feel like I'm missing out. There's always a surprise. And so whether you want something sweet like a protein donut cake or anabolic popcorn or something savory, 
There's clearly a recipe for you. Looking to get the cookbook to help you on your weight loss journey, help you to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life, please use code GREG, 10% off. Click the link in the description. And that's a wrap. Perhaps a Joseph Lavash wrap. Hopefully this video helped. You can add one or more of the foods that I eat into your daily routine, help you to lose weight, and keep it off for the rest of your life. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm, watch one of the bloops, like the video if you liked it. Don't forget phone consults as well as coaching plans by me and my team. You can follow me on Instagram at Greg Doucette, IPV Pro. And until next time, I am out.